and we thought Heartbleed was bad. Welcome to Shellshock, the latest security threat to hit the internet, and it's a doozy. So the program at the heart of Shellshock is called Bash, and Bash has been around for a really long time, going back to the 1980s. By default, Windows machines don't have Bash installed. That doesn't mean you can't install Bash on Windows, but the most common machines that are going to be impacted by this bug are web servers. Basically, what this vulnerability means is that an attacker could execute arbitrary code on web servers. So here's how this vulnerability works. Bash lets users define functions as a way to pass text onto other systems and processes. Usually this is just fine, and, and hey, it's convenient. This is what it's for. The problem is that this vulnerability, which includes specific characters as part of a definition, occur because Bash doesn't stop processing a function after it's defined. It'll continue to read and execute shell commands following the function definition. The end result is that basically the malicious attacker can get shell. And if you are a malicious intruder, that's what you want. You want to get access to the command line on a server because that means that you can then execute all kinds of malicious code. You have access to system files. You can share what you're finding with the system on the world. We want to be clear, getting shell is not the same as getting root, but it does mean that intruders have a chance at an extra special bonus round known as privilege escalation, which means that getting shell could lead to getting root, which means access to everything. You get access to root. It's it's game over, go home, the person has your computer completely owned. So what versions of Bash are impacted by this vulnerability? Well, this is the bad news. Everything up to Bash 4.3, which before yesterday was the latest version. So that means that basically 25 years worth of Bash versions are impacted by this vulnerability. For now, the biggest target is web servers, and with half the web at risk, it's a pretty big target zone. So what about for regular consumers? Well, this is where it gets tough. If you run Windows, you're probably okay, unless you've manually installed something like SigWin or Git or another command line utility. If you're running Mac OS X, however, bad news, Bash is pre-installed and it is the default shell for the OS X terminal. Bash is also the default shell for most Linux distributions, and you can check with your Linux distro to get updates to be patched against this vulnerability. If you're running a Mac, you're going to need to wait for Apple to release a patch. And it's very possible with the OS X vulnerability that someone could create malware that specifically targets Mac computers. That's why it's very important for Apple and anybody else who's using Bash as part of any of their programs to update as soon as possible. But the truth is we're still trying to figure out just how bad this really is. We don't want to be alarmist about what's happening, but the potential for this is actually pretty substantial. It could even be bigger than Heartbleed. The internet's a dangerous place, and what you're seeing right now is what happens when a core component to the makings of the entire networked world becomes vulnerable. And now it's just kind of a race between the good guys and the bad guys, and we've got to cross our fingers and hope the good guys get stuff patched first.